today we're going to be looking at the Mao Ono Professional Condenser USB Microphone Set. Now this is the AU PM421 version. It's the Professional Audio Innovation Series. And right here, as you can see, it comes with a nice microphone stand that hooks up to your desk, along with a desk kind of stabilizer so you don't get any noise when it shakes, and a pop filter that is also extendable as well. Let's go ahead and turn this around and take a look at the back. If we look right here, it says that its polar pattern is cardioid. It has a frequency response of 20 to 20,000 hertz. It says it is, its sensitivity is minus 47 decibels to 29 decibels plus 3 dB, which I think is 3 decibels. Its bit depth is 24-bit. Sample rate is up to 192 kilohertz. Power requirements is only a USB 5 volt. And then it says SN ratio is 74 dB. And then maximum SPL is 125 dB. And then there's a microphone gain that's a knob, LED indicator, and a USB cable. And then it shows what I mentioned on the front. So it also shows a bunch of features down here as well. But let's go ahead and open the microphone. Let's not spoil everything on the box. Before we do that, this is what the uh, side looks like as well. And the box feels really premium too. So without further ado, let's go ahead and open this up and see what it's all about. This time I'm using my ultra wide angle because this box is really big. So I want to be able to get all of this on uh, camera. So let's move this back. We tilt it forward right here. We get a little card basically saying, are you happy with the product? And then right here we have the manual. And then we have a little bit of a wind blocker. This slides over the microphone itself. This is kind of the same thing as this a little bit for the puzz and the S's and stuff. But also if it's really windy outside too, if you wanted to use this outside. And then right here we have the pop filter. This is to remove even better all of those P's and S's and out, like kind of noises. That's probably what I'm going to be using for uh, my microphone setup because I actually don't have one of those. And if we remove this right here, move that out of the way. Here's the stabilizer. It has like all these shoestringy kind of elastic pieces to kind of help balance it out. It's not really attached to anything besides these, as you can see, because it kind of, uh, the elastic helps absorb the vibration if you hit your desk or, you know, something rumbles. And right here, we have this little thing that you turn, and this goes onto your desk like this. And you screw it and it gets really tight on here and then you slide the microphone right here and then tighten it up the arm right here and then you can position it any way you want and it's really nice and versatile these things i actually have one of those for this microphone and uh it's nice that i'm going to be able to have a secondary one as well I'll give my other one to my fiance so she can use it with the snowball ice and then it comes with uh two little things right here of velcro so you can kind of cable manage, which is nice. It uses a printer port type cable, pretty decent length as well. And then it comes with these, uh, oh, this is just the throwaway stuff for oxygen, I believe. And then we have the microphone stand itself which expands, and then this portion at the end right here is what goes into the little uh, desk mount. And then we have the thing that screws into the bottom of the microphone. So let's put that out of the way real quick. And then right here, we have the actual microphone. So let's go ahead and move the box out of the way. Slide this little cellophane off of here. And then let's go ahead and zoom in. All right, so this is the look of the microphone. It's a very nice, sleek looking design. And if you notice on the front right here, it actually has a touchscreen mute button. So if you want to mute yourself, if you're on like Discord 
or maybe on stream you just tap that real quick and it will turn itself off it also has an adjustable gain right here as well so if you want to turn it down or adjust it accordingly depending on your environment you can do that as well and then right down here we have the connector for the uh, printer kind of port cable it's very nice and shiny and uh, kind of like really metallic and heavy too which is nice it has a good weight to it it feels premium and I noticed that uh, you can't see through this, so there's probably a layer of foam in here already, so that already will help get rid of some of those P's and S's noises that sometimes get picked up. I'm kind of wondering how this would be for like karaoke or singing too, but without further ado, let's go ahead and hook this up and then do some microphone tests with it. All right, guys, so I'm just doing an audio test right now that I'm gonna be interjecting into the video. This is right now on max gain, and now I'm going to turn it to medium gain. Hello, hello, hello. And then all the way down to low gain. Hello, hello, hello. Back up to maximum gain. And now I'm going to press the mute button to see if it works. If you didn't hear me talking, that means that it worked. And yeah, I think that it's really nice. Um, this is without the pop filter right now. So if I did like a pop, pop, s -s, and then I'll put the pop filter in front. Pop, pop, s -s. So that's the sound of that. And yeah, let's go ahead and get back to the video. All right, so that was the audio test and unboxing of the Maono AUPM421 microphone. I think the audio dexterity was pretty much on par with my blue snowball that I use for recording. So I don't know if I'm necessarily going to be swapping them out or not, but I definitely could see myself using this for like singing or something like that. Or maybe just uh, streaming or Discord. So yeah, I think that it's pretty good and I'm really excited to own it.